how change gauge maximum or minimum value dynamically in Grafana. Today, this is our topic and uh, it's a great feature which is added in 2021 and we want we want to discuss about it uh, more. Uh, as you can see, I have an article in Medium which I've uh, published about this topic and uh, I describe how to do that in uh, different sections. So, uh, but I realized a, a video could be better to do that and uh, I want to change our maximum value or minimum value dynamically today. Before starting, I want to say what's the problem, why we should do that. Uh, let's go to our uh, graph and a dashboard and uh, see our uh, variables. Uh, of course, you have different nodes and uh, I, I have three uh, in our case and uh, each of them have their uh, memory value. So in order to uh, show their uh, total uh, memory, we should use uh, a variable, uh, which is called memtotal. You can change it. And uh, we use uh, I use a query to get uh, the total memory from nodes. So with this configuration, we have the total memory of our nodes dynamically. But when you want to create a gauge for your, uh, for example, free memory or something like that, uh, you want to choose standard option maximum uh, value uh, aesthetically because it's uh, a field that only accept number and you can't use variables here so in order to dynamic this process we should use uh, another query after creating uh, that uh, variables that I've shown already, uh, we are here to create our uh, panel. We have a panel which want to show the free memory of our nodes dynamically. As you can see, we have a, a query, a dynamic query, which uh, gives us uh, the free memory of our nodes depend on the nodes here and you can see different memory if i mm, disable my second uh, query we can see uh, if we don't use uh, our maximum uh, value we just uh, can uh, see uh, the maximum uh, value uh, per node in a duration time and it's not your uh, total uh, memory as you can see my maximum free memory was uh, this byte 998 megabyte for this node or for the other node it's uh, this and uh, for the other node is uh, 3.58 gigabyte uh, but you know it's not my t total memory it's my total memory is something else so in order to show the total memory we should use a second query which show our uh, memtotal variable here 
and we can enable it and if we enable and let me disable this feature uh, if we enable this uh, query we can see two uh, gauge here we, uh, one of them uh, show us the uh, our uh, variable memtotal and uh, the other shows us uh, the free uh, memory which we had it before but uh, also we don't want to show two gauge for just one node so we should do what what's your solution for this the first solution that many people use is uh, just omit this and disable the second uh, query and just specify our maximum uh, value statically as you can see here one yes it's a four gigabyte total memory and uh, you know when you have several nodes it's not recommended and we should uh, use it uh, dynamically to do that we just clear this and uh, enable our second query and uh, we move to our uh, transform tab uh, you know there is a feature which is recently added and it's uh, in a, a beta version config from query results and uh, we use that to set units uh, minimum maximum and more from data and our query as you can see here we have config from query results and uh, our config query is b because our query name was b here so uh, we apply to fields with their type and their type is numeric and uh, we should choose our field which is our main total for different instances let me how to delete it and again create it it's b it's b it's numeric and we choose our uh, instance which depends on their ip addresses we use we want to use as a maximum value and the last one that is uh, static because it, your total memory is uh, something persistent uh, for the other node we should use uh, uh, the other node variable and it added here and you and we choose maximum value for this node uh, and other nodes uh, too so just it and you can save your dashboard and uh, apply it so when you choose your nodes uh, you can see uh, the free memory and the total uh, memory here for uh, different um, nodes that's it now you have a dynamic dashboard uh, it would be a good idea to use uh, to be able to use variables here uh, our memtotal variables here but uh, we can't use it maybe in the future the Grafana developer add uh, this feature but now we just have one choice to use config from query results i hope this video could help you to better understanding from a dynamic gauge, gauge a maximum or minimum value in grafana see you later